Okay, so let's talk about the first question. It says convert 35B16 hexadecimal number into octal number. There should be a separator space in between octal and the number. So write the steps, right? So there is no way that we can convert the hexadecimal number into an octal number in a straightforward manner, right? So uh, we can we can use a particular way to do it, a particular uh, different kinds of conversions to take a hexadecimal one into an octal. The one way of doing it is the uh, taking the hexadecimal one, converting it to a decimal value, and then convert into an octal value, right? So if you go on that path, the hexadecimal value is 35B. So we are going to convert this into a de decimal. So we are going to consider what are the place values, All right? So then it is one, it is 16, it is 256, All right? So then what we are going to do is, we are going to multiply the place value with its corresponding symbol value. So 256 into three plus 16 into five plus one into 16, right? I'm sorry, not one into 16, that's my bad. B means 11, so it's going to be 1 into 11. So how it's going to be? 3 into 6 is 18, 1 is remaining, 3 into 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16, 1 is remaining, 3 into 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 768, plus 16 into 5 is 80, plus 11 will be here. So this will give you what? 8 plus 1 is 9, and again 6 plus 8 is 14, plus 1 is 15, 1 is remaining, so 859. All right, so this is a decimal value that we are getting. So how to convert the decimal into an octal? So we are going to divide 859 decimal value by 8. So it will give you 107 and four is remaining. And then we are going to divide by eight. So it's going to be one and for 27, there is three, 24, three is remaining. People, sorry, here it should be three. One for eight, 59, it's uh, 18 to 7 is 56, 3 is remaining, my bad, right? Then you are getting 107, 107 divided by 8, so 1 and 3, again 3 is remaining, and if you divide by 8, it is 1, and 5 is remaining, right? So the answer is going to be 1,533 in octal. Right, so this is a one way of doing that, converting hexadecimal into a decimal first, then that decimal to the octal, right? And the second way of doing this is converting hexadecimal into a binary, then from binary to an octal, which is much simpler way, right? So, the requirement is 35B, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract this into a binary, right? So, how we are going to extract this into a binary? Using four bits. Passing. 
and the place values are going to be one, two, and four, eight. So we are going to represent 35B from these groups. So three will be uh, represented as 0, 0, 1, 1. Five, it is four and one. So other places we got zeros. B means 11 again. So 11 means eight plus two plus one. And this. So in binary, it's going to be 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So to convert this into a octal, what we are going to do is we are going to separate these into the groups of three bits. I'm sorry. From here. So these things will have the place value of 1, 2, and 4. 1, 2, and 4. So, which represents 1 from here? Here we are representing 5, here we are representing 3, and here we are representing 3 again. How we did that? Here we got 1 because of this 1. So, 1 is under there. Here we got 5 from this 4 and 1 with corresponding ones. Here we got one one, that means that belongs to two and one, so it's three, same goes here. So this gives you the octal value of the hexadecimal, right? So who got this correct, people? Okay, Anuhas, that's great. Right, Risara, very good. Kusira, Randima, Tedara, very good. And who else? Vinadi, very good. Right, so for the people who have got this wrong, please have the uh, corrections. Okay, is there anyone who is still copying this? Otherwise, we can proceed. Okay, so here we go, the second one. So it says Amara went to dress point and select a dress and took it to the uh, counter to pay money. There, the barcode which was tagged in that dress was entered into the information system of the shop. She received a printed bill after the payment made. Write down the input process and output of this information system according to the above incident. So, Input. The input means the things that you are going to in, right? So what's the input for the information system? Is the barcode, yeah. So you can straight away say input is going to be the barcode as well as uh, here they say like when uh, she gave the money, uh, she returned or she, like she received a particular bill, all right? So to prepare the bill, the information system needs the money which is given by the- Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Amara, right? Oh, that's Twinkalinka. Her name is Twinkalinka. No, that's not good. Twinkle girl. 
Yeah, her name is Twinkle Inka, Suzu. Ah, Twinkle Inka? Yeah, Twinkle Inka. Right, so the uh, input is going to be the barcode, or either you can say the amount given by the Amara. Right, so those are going to be the inputs. Right, so either the barcode or that one up, like it needs two things. So one of those will give you the marks, right? Any one of those. So the process, what's going to be the process, people? So there are two types of processes. Lama, just a second. Right, so regarding the process, there are like the major process is taking the information regarding the barcode from the system, right? So the barcode is providing the information about the dress and the price and all these things. So like processing the barcode, right? Or fetching the information regarding the barcode. That is going to be your major process, right? So you can say, fetch in the details regarding the barcode, right? Uh, yeah, now does it the second one read the barcode by system of the shop according to the given information in the system now that is uh, it's it's not uh, saying any connection uh, does it it's better you say like read the barcode and uh, fetch the detail or like uh, obtain the details which is stored in the information system right it is not given to the information system. No, Chanuri, you can't say entering the barcode to the information system though, because it is kind of an input, not a process. Uh, Risara, paying money uh, as an input? No, you can't tell paying money as an input because they have specifically asked here, Puta, uh, what are the inputs for the information system? Now we are not paying money to the information system, Nibuta. So when she pay the money, the cashier will insert the amount of the money that she paid. Right? So that is the one which should come as the input. Right? So fetching the details regarding the barcode, that is one of the uh, like kind of a major process. And there is another process as well. To create the bill, we need the amount received as well as we have to uh, process the balance. When we are receiving the bill, it uh, shows us what's the total amount of the bill and how much we have given and what is the balance amount that we are receiving. Right? So calculating the balance amount uh, will be another process. Right? So 
calculating balance amount right so those two either of those can be taken as a correct answer and regarding the output there is only one output it is the bill right definitely it's the bill yes the printed bill it's better you uh, go with printed bill or just bill right so that is going to be the only output that we can find so if you got one input one process and a one output you can have two marks earlier one is also going to give you two marks if you miss any one of these that means only two factors are here either the input and the process or the uh, input and the output or the process and the output you will be getting only one mark if you came up with only one fact only one item you are not going to have the marks right so either two or three should be there all three should be there right if all three are there and they are correct two marks are given any two correct things you will be taken one mark right yeah the third one says write down the technologies of storage devices such as blu ray flash drive and memory cards so blu ray it is what optical storage right optical storage flash drive and memory cards solid state storage right solid state storage right and that is going to be the answer for the third one so if everything is correct two marks if you are incorrect with just one thing that means two are correct then it's going to be one mark anything less than that you are not going to have any marks fourth one it is asking information communication technology is used in various fields name two automatic control system used to make transportation easy right so you can say traffic light systems and cctvs as well as etcs you can say electronic teller cards right right so those can be taken as the answer so any two of these is going to give you two marks again and the fifth part it says write down two software features which can be seen in the fifth generation computers with the advent of modern technology so what are the features we can see voice recognition and face recognition can be there character recognition akuru handuna ganna eka and as well as uh, ai technologies right those things can be taken as the answers right so any two of these things if you got any alternative answers just ask me people i can miss some of the answers right so two marks are given for that part as well uh bina the internet cannot be taken as a fifth generation uh, feature though because internet is available even in the fourth generation right though so you won't be able to right uh, if you if you say uh, advanced graphical user interfaces yes you can take one of those okay who got 10 out of 
eye recognition uh, eye recognition so everything is uh, come under the pattern recognition uh, eye recognition that we uh, generally we say the face recognition eye recognition okay you can take marks just for the moment but it's better you go for the uh, facial recognition voice recognition kind of things every these things are uh, lied under, under the pattern recognition right good people okay so so from the sixth part you have to continue i'm going to uh, scroll the things hold on Okay, here you go. Six and the seventh part. I'll give you four minutes. Right. So it's six twenty nine. Let's say it's six thirty. So six thirty four. I'm going to discuss. Right, meanwhile, people, it's better you send me uh, how much you got out of 10. Prisara, Dilani, it's a good, good ma. Keep it up. Tedara, very good. Binadi, very good. Right, Lucida, very good. Keep it up, keep it up.
All right, are we done? Does anyone need any more time? Okay, so let's talk about this. So the fourth one, the principal has designed a monitoring system that operates from 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. to regulate the supervision process in the school. The monitoring system function when students go out of the classroom during learning periods or student behaves restlessly in the classroom. In the above situations, the monitoring camera, the monitoring camera system captures students' photograph and it, sh it shouldn't be sand, it should be and, and send to the principal's mobile phone. Right, a very simple situation. So during the uh, school time, this monitoring system will uh, check whether the students are leaving the classroom or whether they are staying rest restlessly. Right. If either of the cases, it will take a photograph and send that send that photograph to the principal. Right. So, what they are asking you to do is to complete the circuit for the given scenario. Right. And again, uh, as a help, they have given the states of the inputs where, which, which controls the output or the, uh, which controls sending the picture to the principal's cam, uh, office or like the principal's mobile phone, right? So it describes like this. We have taken A, the input A as the, as the time period. So when the time is in between 7.30 to 1.30 p.m., it indicates one. So that means this indicates A. Time is not 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. It indicates B, it, it, it indicates zero. That means this is A bar. And the student leaving the classroom, student go out of the classroom during the learning periods, it indicates one. So it can indicate as B. And student do not go out of the classroom during the learning periods, it indicates zero. So it can be taken as B bar. And they have taken C. Student keep calm in the classroom. They take it as one. So that means C. Student behaves restlessly in the classroom. They have taken it as zero. That means C bar is going to be there. Right? So these are the situations which controls the output, these, these situations will decide whether to send a particular photograph of the student to the principal's mobile phone or not, right? So then what we have to do is, we have to figure out how the situation is going to go on. Now, situation is easy. What principal is expecting from the system is during the school hours, right? That means in between 7.30 to 1.30 p.m., Right, so from 1.30 a.m., I'm sorry, from 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., right? So that means time is all, always should be in that particular range. So that indicates by A. And not only that fact, it has to consider other two facts as well. So the monitoring system function, when student go out of the classroom during the periods, so that means B, not the B bar, this says O, O, student behave restlessly in the classroom. So restless behavior indicated by C bar, not from C. So these are the situations 
to capture that particular student. So the time should be in between 7.30 to 1.30 and either that particular student should go out of the classroom or he should behave restlessly, right? So now it is simple. We only need to build a simple scenario from this, then we can straight away convert this into an expression. So how it happens? A photo will be captured or like a photo will be sent when time is in between 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. and student leaves a classroom or behave restlessly, right? So that is a simple argument that we can create. So between 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. means what? It is A, an end. Student leaves, it is B. O behave restlessly, it is C bar. So the expression is going to come as A and B O C bar. Now, student leaves the classroom O behaves restlessly. Either of them should happen. So because of that, we should have brackets with the particular time period. Either student should leave the classroom or they should behave restlessly. So for that reason, this will be inside the brackets. So this gives you a dot b plus c bar as the expression. So if this is the expression, how about our circuit is going to be? We have to create a C bar. So C bar can be created when we connect it to a not get. And we have to create, connect this, or like we have to add these things up, B and the C bar. So it's the O gate that you are going to have. Right? So this is a not, and this is an O. So if you got this correctly, you will be given two marks. Okay, who got this correctly? Very good, Tedara. All right, very good. Many of you have taken that. Very good. Okay. Yeah, do we have a question? Uh, no, 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 Ranuja, it is not a compulsory thing. I'm just explaining, Puta. You only need to uh, draw the circuit, right? If they ask you to show your workings properly, something, something, yeah, then it's better, right? Here, it is not. You only need to draw the circuit. Right, so the seventh one, it says operating system is a system software which essential to run a computer. Name two main functions of operating system under managing hardware. So we learn there are two major things that operating system does. One is providing graphical user interfaces to the user. And the second thing is managing hardware. Under the managing hardware, there are, there are several things, right? Memory management, process management, security management, device management, network management. So there were many. So on, you only need to have two of them. Memory management, process management, device management, 
security management, network management. Any two of those will be taken as the correct answer. Right, so that will take two marks as well. Okay, people, is it clear so far? Right. Okay, so here we go to the rest of the things. So you may try the eighth, ninth, and the tenth. I'll give you six minutes. So it's 6.45. I'll do this by 6.51, right? Or rather 52, yeah. right? So give it a try, give it a try. Yes, yes, uh, Hansaka, uh, file management, yes, can also taken because when it comes to the file, it is talking about the storage Buddha. You can take file management as well, yes. And uh, you should see these two questions here.
Okay. Is there anyone still doing this? Or can we go for the discussion? All right, so let's move to the discussion. So the eighth part is talking about write down two word processing software developed by developed for using with mobile phones and tablet computers. Yeah, so you can take MS Word. There are mobile versions that they have created by the Microsoft. And you can take Google Docs. And you can say Kingsoft. Kingsoft Office, actually. And the previous class, someone mentioned about Polaris Office as well. Right? Those kind of things. If you got any alternative answers, let me know. So I will check it and tell you whether it is correct. So any two of these things will give you two marks. Uh, LibreOffice Writer, Rusira, it's not going to be a mobile friendly thing, Buddha. LibreOffice Writer is actually uh, up to the computers. Right? Right. Uh, hold on, let me uh, check whether Libre is there. I work page? Yes. Yes, Ranima, you can take that. Let's check whether Libre is given any new thing to the world. Libre office mobile. Do we got anything? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's something called Libre office for Android and iOS. Ah, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, now LibreOffice is not uh, providing anything to the, here it says, and this is, uh, uh, there are uh, LibreOffice based product, which is called uh, Collabora, right? Uh, Office for Android and iOS. So, uh, no, to that I don't think we can take OpenOffice right as well, because LibreOffice or OpenOffice, let's, let's check that as well. I don't think, I don't think so. Oh, open office apps on Google Play, they say. Let me, let me see. Yeah, there is something called and Andrew, Andrew Pen Office, right? So it's not purely the open office, uh, but that's something uh, not regarding the, maybe something regarding the open office, related to open office, but not the pure open office thing, right? So, uh, yeah, it's better you stick with uh, this MS Word, Google Docs, Kingsoft Office polaris kind of things right okay so the ninth one it is talking about match the numbers in column a with the letters in column b utility software it's going to be the antivirus software utilities of one of the utilities antivirus software language translators it belongs with the interpreters operating system goes with isuru linux application software goes with computer games so first one r is the answer second one p is the answer third one s is the answer fourth one q is the answer if you got all four correct two marks are given if you incorrect with any one of these, produce 0.5 marks for that, right? So for, for 0.5 for each incorrect choice. 
And as the very last thing, they asked Sumedha's computer has total capacity of one TB and the memory usage of each file type to store data is shown in the picture below, 715. Yes. All right, so the first question that they ask in, what is the capacity of this hard disk in gigabytes? So they say the, uh, it has a capacity of one terabyte. So for this, you should remember the, uh, the bit chakra, right? it? So like one bit is the smallest one, eight bits equals to one byte. Then after 1024 take place, right? 1024 bytes equals to one kilobyte. 1024 kilobytes equals to one megabyte. 1024 megabytes is equals to one gigabyte. 1024 gigabytes is equal to one terabytes. And finally, 1024 terabytes is equal to one petabyte, right? So this is easy now. They asked in the <coughs> capacity of the hard disk in gigabytes. So the answer is 1024 gigabytes. Yeah, Gavindu, I'll answer you after the session. So then finally it asks, what is the capacity allocated for songs in gigabytes? So for song, they got how many? One eight terabytes, right? So they're asking what is the song, the allocation for song in gigabytes? So it is easy, you know the capacity in gigabytes. So you take one eight from uh, 1024, right? So 1024 into one over eight, which gives you 128 gigabytes. So one for eight. One here for 22, it's two, and for 64, it is eight. So it is 128 gigabytes is going to be the answer for this one. Right? So two marks are given, like by given one mark for A and one mark for B. All right, anyone? who got a chance to have 20 out of 20 for all these 10 parts? Anyone? Okay, 19. Nineteen out of 20. Okay, 18. Okay, so all four, like I got five. Rosira, Tedara, Ranima, Anuhas, Gavidu. Is it 18 or 19? Is there anyone who have 19s? Ah, Tedara, you got 19? Ah, no, 18s, 18s. Okay, okay. Never mind, never mind. That's a very good mark. Right, having uh, 20 out of 20 is a uh, little hard to do. Right, having 19s, 18s, 17s, still 16s, it's a good one, it's a very good one. Right, so all others, I'm not telling that you are not good, but it's better you try to uh, pass the mark 16. Right, so if it is, you will be in the safe side. Right. Okay, so uh, that's how the first question is arranged in your papers. So you will be getting something like this in your uh, exam paper, right? And uh, yeah, I want you to try one Excel question. Excel question is not in this paper. I'm going to give you it from a past paper. Hold on. Yeah, this was the same past paper, which is done by the Sinhala medium class as well. 
So let's try the Excel question over here. Right, here it goes. Yes. Okay. Now, when you are doing, you will realize how easy the Excel questions are. Right. So I'm going to give you generally this is going to have 20, give you a 20 minutes to finish this question. But uh, it is like 10 minutes, 10 minutes are like more than enough to do that. Right. So like, uh, yeah, I'm going to give you eight minutes. Right. So it's seven two is the time by seven ten. I'm, I'm going to start the discussion, but don't panic. Just do as you take. If you need any more time, I will allow you to, uh, I will give you some more, right? But uh, do it, right? So let's see. Once you are done, let me know, right? So I'm giving the time limit as 7.10. If you're done before, let me know. If you need more time, let me know again.
All right. Do you need more time? Some says they are done. Okay, is there anyone who needs more time? All right, so then let's discuss. That's great. So now, as the question says, you can understand uh, it is about the marks of four students for four subjects, right? Amila Kapila, Fatima and Raj is scoring for uh, commerce, English, mathematics and science, right? So the first question says, write the required formula in cell C8 without using functions. Now, that is important. They say without using functions, right? So some of you may blindly go with the functions. So be careful people, right? It says without using functions to calculate the total marks obtained by the Amila. So that means you are asked to write your answer over here, right? So the answer should be equals what? C4 plus C5 plus C6 plus C7. That's going to be your answer, right? Tedara, some will not be, okay. Tadara, uh, some you can't take some as the answer do because they say do uh, without using functions. So sum is a function. So you can't use the sum function. Right? So this is going to be the answer. Okay, so the second part it says if the formula entered in cell C8 to calculate Amila's total mark is copied to calculate Kapila's total marks in D8. How would you, how would the formula appears in D8? So it's easy. This is going to copy relatively, right? So it's going to be equal D4 plus D5 plus D6 plus D7, right? Simple as that. And in the third one, it says, write the formula to calculate the total marks received by Raj using function sum. Here you are given the chance to use the function sum. So they are asking the total marks of the Raj that is over here. So it should see equal sum, what? F4 colon F7, right? Or else, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, no, Tedara, you can't, Tedara, uh, do if you write equal D4 colon D8 for the second answer, it won't give you any addition dual, right? So if you are going to use the range, you should have a function dual. Otherwise, there is no point of having that, right? Then, uh, of course, you have to use the operators, which is pluses and minuses and all these things. So you can write the third question, third answer like this, equal sum f4 colon f7, or you can say equal sum, you can use the comma separator, f4 comma, f5 comma, f6 comma, f7. You can write it like this as well. Right, so two marks for the first part, two marks for the second part, as well as two marks for the third part. And the fourth one, it says, using the function available in spreadsheet software to calculate the average, write the formula to calculate the average marks of the student for commerce in cell G4. That means over here, they're asking for average. So it is equal average. The average should be C4 colon F4 right? Or else you can use the comma separator as I showed you in the sum function. So again, two marks is given. 
So in the last part, it is saying the class teacher want to compare the performance of two students in four subjects in a single chart. Provide two appropriate chart types available in spreadsheet software for, the, for this purpose. So you can use column charts, you can use bar charts, you can use line charts as well, right? But comma, column and the bar chart are the most common chart types for the comparison. You can't take pie charts, people. Pie chart is regarding just one particular thing. You can go for pie charts, right? So it is either column, bar, and line. So any two of those. Right, so you are getting another two marks for that as well. Right. Okay, so who got 10 out of 10? Oh, well done, well done. Right, so you will be having, you will be getting these kind of questions. Excel, it's quite easy when you know about the Excel, right? And it is very it takes only a very few minutes to answer that question. So it will save you the time as well for other questions, right? So very good people, right? So keep it up. So I'm going to end the session from this point, people, right? And I'll see you on next week for the very same time, right? So we are going to discuss the PowerPoint. And meanwhile, we are going to, dis we are, we are going to decide whether we are going to have a physical class or not. Right, so I'll drop the message to the WhatsApp group. Please reply uh, by asking from your parents whether it is okay to come or not. Right. All right, people. So have a very nice, uh, yeah, have a very good night and be safe. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah, Rusila, I'll answer your question. Hold on a second.